Hello guys, so uh, this video will be a quick overview of the Ricoh SP C261 SF and W colored laser printer. Now I got this printer um, only a couple days ago and uh, so far I've liked it quite a lot um, compared to the printer that I've replaced which was a brother multifunction black and white printer. So this printer, uh, what it does is it, it retains all the functions that my brother had, plus a full color printing capability, and uh, it's uh, it's very affordable. At least uh, the initial cost is very affordable. It's about one hundred sixty five dollars shipped to me. Uh, I bought it on eBay. I'll post the link for you guys. Um, hopefully they still have it on sale. Um, <clears throat> but it's got the exact same document feeder. Actually, this document feeder is. It's very cool because it's duplex scanning. So basically you have one page in on both sides. It scans both sides at, at once. Uh, it also got a flatbed scanner right over here. Now this picture, I already pre-tested the color. This is a picture of my wife that I just printed from a, a, a picture I took a couple weeks ago. And the print quality is actually uh, very, very good. It, this is like the standard resolution. Um, as you can see, if you view it from a fairly good distance, you don't see any artifacts only if you actually zoom in you may be able to see some artifacts but nobody looks at pictures like this close especially for an 8x10 so if you get a nice quality glossy laser photo printer uh, photo print photo paper you'll be able to print some nice photographs um, for your own office or for your own home um, and uh, the, again, the color quality is very good. Um, this is uncalibrated, so if you do calibrate it, you'll probably get more accurate colors. Um, and this is a flatbed scanner as well. So on bottom of that is the actual printer function, the printer area. So all those number pads are for the fax, the fax machine. And uh, I don't use a fax. Um, in fact, I, uh, I throw away the fax um, telephone cable right away when I received it because I don't have a physical phone line connection. Um, now the cool thing is it's got NFC, so basically you can hook up your phone fairly easily to connect and print stuff. You can also have the stuff hooked to the USB cable, like a USB dongle, uh, hooked up to be able to print stuff. Um, and this is a full color touch screen. So I'm gonna bring up the, the color screen and right now the printer is in sleep mode. So we'll see how fast it is from the sleep mode goes back to the normal. And this is the warming up and uh, this warming up this uh, I actually had the printer set to energy saver function 2 what it does is it actually goes into a deeper sleep so every time when it warms up it takes slightly longer than energy saving mode 1 to warm up and print stuff but again I rarely print I seldomly print a lot of stuff so once I print a page or two a day uh, that's probably it if I'm printing a shipping if I'm printing a shipping label or things like that, uh, right now the printer is woken up now. So as you can see, it's about like 30, 45 seconds uh, to fully warm up. Um, over here is the settings. I'm not gonna go through. I'm not gonna go through all the manuals, but it's got a whole bunch of features to customize different size of papers, thickness, copier functions, scanner functions, uh, energy saving options. Um, and of course, it have a whole list of like reports that you can print, uh, as well as the address book is more for the fax machine. Uh, network settings. It, it also supports Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi printing, which is super cool, as well as Google Cloud printing and Air. I think AirPrint from Apple, um, but that I'm not very familiar with it, and I know it supports it, and I know some people actually had problem with AirPrint, so take it as a grain of salt. Um, but I did set it up with Google Cloud Print and it works just fine. Um, now printer features, uh, of course they have uh, settings for the PCL and the PostScript setup, the system setup. Uh, it's all basic stuff, but it's it's all the settings, basic settings you want, it's right there. But to be able to use this printer, it's super easy. Right now I have it hooked to a, um, to a network hub. So basically it's network attached uh, with a network cable and all I have to do is I go on my computer, I download the Ricoh um, installation program 
and it's just one click and basically just follow direction to automatically configure everything and it finds a printer and then sets up everything for you. So super, super easy. Um, and again, print quality, very, very good uh, for a home office printer. And uh, I think the toner, if you buy the Jinyoung Rico, Rico toner, like a pack, I think it's, a, it's more than $200. But there are options on eBay that you can easily refill the existing, existing toner inside. And actually, when you buy this printer, it ships with a reduced, like a economy printer cartridge that only prints a thousand page uh, each on each of the cartridges. Um, but you can open this cartridge and refill it, and then it should be able to print 2300 pages uh, of the prints uh, fairly easily. And I'll also post the link uh, in the description below on where to get the cheap refill kit. It's very easy to do, and I think that's the route I'm going with. Um, again, touch screen, so everything, all the all the function you need is right over here. Uh, let's see, let's go back to home copier, and uh, yep, this is the copier function. I'm trying to focus here, and uh, go back. This is a scanner function. It can scan to email, folder, FTP, or USB. Now, unfortunately, um, you can't just click here and have to send the, the pictures to the PC. You have to use the PC app to scan the stuff. But still, um, there are a whole bunch of options available, uh, especially scan to USB, which is really nice if you just want to quickly scan some documents in a PDF file to the USB and then take it away. So the fax function I seldomly use, or actually I never use, uh, but it's there. So if you guys use it in an office environment, uh, you'll be able to um, use the fax function fairly nicely. Uh, the card, and this is really cool. I think this is for printing the ID cards. Um, I Again, I never need to use that feature, but it's there. You can insert a blank ID card and have it print out um, the colored prints from the ID card. The status of the printer, everything's ready which is good, and supply, it gives you all the supply levels, machine info. You can scan this and then be able to connect to the printer. But again, this is a, um, the problem is when you scan this, um, it, it only connects for a little bit and next time you have to scan it again to be able to connect. Um, and the locked print job exists, uh, I'm not sure what this is for, but it looks like it's a security feature. Um, so there you have it, all the status right over there, and the settings. And it's really easy to see the, um, the toners, uh, leftover toners, remaining toners available on the home page. It's super easy. Um, again, all the buttons, this is for the fax. So let me light it up a little bit. This is for the fax, and that's cancel the job, and that's black and white copy, and that's colored copy. So. Very easy, very, very easy to use. Um, and uh, in terms of the paper capacity, it of course accepts a standard, you know, 8.5 by, um, by 11 sized paper. I'm not sure if it supports legal. I think it does. Um, but again, I think you need a special adapter of some sort to, uh, to be able to hold the legal sized papers. But I do know it can, it can scan legal sized paper, uh, which is uh, useful for a lot of um, documents that I do. Um, so again, I would highly recommend this printer. Um, it's very budget friendly and you have cheap options to replace the toner cartridge or refill it. And another cool thing, I would have to say give kudos to Rico for thinking about that, is their air vent is actually directionally adjustable. How cool is that? So if you are if you have it in an office and uh, the the wind is blowing to somewhere that's like uncomfortable, you just easily adjust it, and it goes either this way or that way, and you can direct the wind on different directions as well, which I think it's super super thoughtful design. Uh, a lot of other printers just have one vent directly injects air to one area, and uh, that is a nice nice touch. Okay, so this printer is energy. Uh, Energy Star compliant, and uh, when it's not in use, it's very energy efficient. When it's in use, it's uh, of course the same as some other, you know, um, similar priced and featured printers out there. But uh, 
you have uh, you have a very capable capable printer. Now, some people in the review say that the print speed is slow. Excuse me, and I have to um, I have to agree and disagree because a, a similar price to printer, the print speed is all going to be similar. Like first page out is going to be at least thirty to forty five seconds. Now, if you spend a thousand dollars, you can get some better enterprise quality printer that have the prints out in only 15 seconds. But then again, uh, you're spending a thousand dollars instead of $165. Uh, so there's no complaint there. If you use it for the home um, and you print occasionally, it's totally fine. If you do print a lot, change the energy saving mode to energy saving one or just disable it. So you'll always be able to print it right away and the prints comes out like super quick. But then again, I think it's very unnecessary because uh, if even if you're printing multiple pages after 30, 45 seconds, multiple pages comes out at once. So um, that should wrap up this uh, little quick uh, overview of the Rico SP C261 SFNW. Now there's some other models. I think the C260, 262, all the printers are very, very similar. I think. I'm not even sure if there's any difference at all. Maybe it's a regional, it's a regional thing. So maybe in Europe they're selling the C262 and things like that. But uh, overall, after a couple of days, I haven't had any problems printing colored photographs, black and white photographs, or scan stuff. And uh, this printer does it all, uh, and it does it very, very budget friendly. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions about this printer, feel free to ask me in the comments section and I'd be happy to answer for you guys. And thank you so much for watching and take care.